Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode two of Let's Play Mega Jammer. Hope you guys are well. This can also be considered a let's try. Uh, we're playing it pretty much blind here. Definitely the furthest I've made it thus far is to character creation. Um, we're going to have to hit new game again and then skip tutorial. Let's hit skip. Did the training facility. All right, there should be a skip tutorial and then start a new game. Should take us. In the far distant future, Earth and her children wage war across the We could safely skip that we saw in the previous episode. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and check out the previous episode. All right, let's rock and roll. So, probably want to be... Maybe this guy right here. Um, and let's get into it. Character creation. Your character is made up of a mix of virtues, studies, and their past jobs. Skill levels are represented with six-sided dice. Drag the dice down from the virtues and studies dice pools to the boxes below them to improve that ability. More dice in a virtue or study means a better chance of success when faced with a challenge that requires their dice. For example, every die you drag into the perception box improves ranged weapon aim. Better aim can also result in higher damage outputs. Pips. The number to the left of the studies dice represents bonus pips, flat numbers that add to your dice rolls. Six pips equals one die. Huh. Jobs. Fill out your character's background quiz to determine their past jobs and their age. Background jobs will add small bonuses and reductions to your studies. They'll also come with a minor disadvantage. Age. Rage will limit how many dice can go in some virtues, as humans naturally gain and lose abilities throughout their life. More. Click on the virtues, studies, jobs, and disadvantages to learn how each will impact or affect your character. Alright, pain threshold. Well, first, we should probably start with the quiz. Which birth kit was provided or purchased during your early development? U.S. government public option. Point in genetics bio plus. How about a natural birth? Oh, you can look at them. The government public option. Your birth kit, the common term for the genetic synthetic stem, GSS. First developed by Quinton Syndicates, DNA modification results in improved physical condition, immunity to disease, and intelligence. Those who cannot afford to buy a private kit can accept the public option provided by the U.S. government. Birth kits often determine jobs paths later in life. Um, citizens can purchase premium injections from Quinton Syndicates, improving their native abilities and itemizing the need to labor at learned skills, minimizing the need to labor at learned skills. Birth kits often determine job path later in life. Natural birth, unregistered and unemployed citizens do not qualify for the public option and are not able to upgrade their child's genetic structure. You know, we might just go with natural birth. Let's see how it goes. If we hit next, which of the following occupations did you hold before age 20? Let's see. Homeless. Government welfare funds dried up in the first year of the C-1 war as millions of refugees poured into the safe walls of the cities. You were one of the many fighting for shelter in alleys and tent cities. Natural advantage. Rummager. You're always peering into files of trash. Into piles of trash. It's kind of hard to read. Reusable items, find quality items to collect where others find nothing. Pips you gain requires disadvantage selection, one chain, two unarmed. Hmm. Pickpocket. Forced to the streets without the right birth kit and right bank account, you turn to petty theft to fill your stomach. Natural advantage, rummager. Natural advantage, always on the job as you run through crowds of civilians. 
wadoons occasionally seem to leap out of the pockets into your palm. Effects will stack if selected more than once. Your time at this position gained you valuable training for life, but also came with hardship. If you pick this option, you'll receive bonus pips to your studies. Pips you gain requires disadvantage selection. One chain, one slug weapons, two burglary. Chained. Your skill with chain whips and nunchaku. Success rolls for chained weapons are augmented with your muscle mass dice, which is here. Oh, interesting. Success rolls are calculated by rolling your dice plus pips and modifications against the item difficulty. Let's look at Looter. Like a rat, you rummaged in the hills of trash surrounding the city walls. Competition was fierce, but you usually managed to gather enough to sell or eat. Rummager to burglary. Burglary. Your aptitude in the realm of petty thievery. A higher number increases your ability to successfully hit a target. Burglary rolls are augmented with your grace dice. Well, that's interesting, all these different dice and stuff. Use your burglary training to lockpick, improve your chance of success at knockout attacks, setting and disable traps, and grace. Agility on the move and in the air. So it's like a physical grace. Every die in grace reduces action recovery turns by one, reduces reload turns by one, reduces damage roll from stepping on hazardous materials by one, is added to success rolls for items that use throwing skills, one-handed edge weapons, and for burglary rolls. So we'll get into this more as we go. Let's check out Dock Worker. Syndicates ship goods across the oceans on hulking ships stuffed with expensive cargo. You've never been quick of wit, but you knew your way around a forklift. Uh, two impact, two chain. So we saw chain impact. Your skill with blunt weapons, including clubs, hammers, crowbars, and shovels. Success rolls for impact weapons are augmented with your muscle mass dice. Muscle mass. Raw strength gives you close range attacks. Your close range attacks, force, and vigor. Every die in muscle mass increases damage by one, allows you to carry extra items in your bag, up to three dice. Is added to success rolls for unarmed attacks and pull, impact, two-handed edge, and chained weapons. And if we go back to impact, uh, calculated rolling your dice plus pips and modifications against the item difficulty, gig worker, a jack of all trades and a master of none, rejected syndicate applications, Forced you to bounce between low paying gigs to keep the lights on. Rummager, one repair, one organics, one chemistry, one hacking, one social. Wow. So, repair. Your knowledge of mechanics and engineering. Repair rolls are augmented with your learning dice. Use your repair training to repair damaged weapons. Create drones from unused weapons and armor. Huh. Learning. Abilities are essential for those dabbling in chemistry, computers, and mechanics. One or more die in learning is added to success rolls for repair, chemistry, and hacking. Improves ability to decipher other languages. So, okay. Uh, back to Gig Worker. One organics. Your knowledge in the science of the human body. Organics dice are augmented with your occult dice. Uh, the mind's stability in the face of unknown forces. Every die in a coal is added to success rolls for organics and social. So back to organics. No, I said organics, right? There it was. Uh, same success rolls. Ah, I can't click organics. There we go. Use your organics training to use lightning rods to resurrect fallen bodies to do your bidding. Improve your chance of success at knockout attacks. Heal your companion without items or aid. Huh. Back to gig worker. Uh, one chemistry. Your knowledge of chemical compounds and their known effects. A skilled chemist can create elixirs of fire, oil, acid, and flash grenades. 
Chemistry rolls are augmented with your learning dice. Success rolls are calculated by rolling your dice plus pips. Okay. Gig worker also gets one hacking. Hacking. Your skill with computers and knowledge of the mechanical world. A higher number increases your ability to successfully hit a target. Hacking rolls are augmented with your learning dice. Use your hacking training to turn off lights, doors, cameras, and electricity via terminals and hack ATMs. Wow. This is pretty wild. It's turning out to be very cool already. And one social. Uh, social. Your ability to manipulate charm or persuade others to do your will. A higher number increases your ability to successfully hit a target. Social roles are augmented with your occult dice. Use your social char charm to ask others to join you, convince hostile or neutral parties to leave their post, gather rumors. Huh. Okay, so that's gig worker gains all of that. Farmer, trial subject. With no better job prospects, you volunteered as a syndicate lab subject for 51 dunes a week and a few years knocked off your life expectancy. So what actually... These sound like... Oh, these are jobs before age 20. Um... Rummager, we gain one repair, three organics, minus one social. So if we go back to the US government public option, we gain a little bit different occupations before age 20. Trooper, data entry. You join the masses of office workers who file into the doors of syndicate offices five days a week. Paper pushing is dull work, but it paid the bills. Pips you gain requires disadvantage selection, two hacking, two social. I think we're just gonna go with data entry. So the pips we gain once we hit next. Huh, it didn't put the pips there. Which of these side effects, if any, best matches any conditions you developed at this time? Oh, we have to take a side effect, right? Um, elitist, naive, coward, addict, two left feet, butterfingers. Let's see what naive. I'm not going to go through every single choice because, you know, we are just going with what we're going to pick pretty much and what we're, what we're deciding through. Naive vendors look at you and see a stack of wand dunes, pay an extra 10% at merchants as they pull the wool over your innocent eyes. Effects will stack if selected more than once. Your time at this position gained you valuable training for life, but also came with hardship. If you pick this option, you'll receive the bonus pips to your studies. <coughs> Elitist, your sheltered life leads you ill-equipped to scavenge good loot out of piles of trash. You struggle to find quality items outside of shops and vendors. Coward. Sweaty hands fumble a good aim. Minus one modifier to hit rolls. Effects will stack and select more than once. So while I was working while working for data entry. Anticipation is a luxury your brain can't afford. And pills seem to find their way into your bloodstream before you can read the label. <laughs> I think we'll pick addicts. I'm not gonna, I don't min max my characters, guys, if you know me, so we're just going to pick what we think is cool, basically. So if we hit next, are you 20 years of age or older? Yes. Well, you can start less than 20. Okay, which of these occupations did you hold between the ages of 20 and 25? There's our pips to social and hacking. Talk worker, gig worker, syndicate, security, nurse, data entry, lab assistant. A natural aptitude for the sciences led you to a junior position in the research and development labs. Oh, we gain all kind of pips there too. That sounds like something I do. Trooper, scout, trial subject, vendor. 
All right, let's look at lab assistant. One, uh, one handed edge, one impact, one chemistry, one hacking, three social. This is a really cool character creation. I didn't know it would be like this deep. Very cool. So, um, one handed edge, your skill with knives, success rolls for one handed edge weapons are augmented with your grace dice. Alright, and then if we go back to uh, Lab Assistant, Impact, Chemistry, Hacking, and 3 Social for being a Lab Assistant. Um, if we go to Data Entry, we can get, oh, we can get 2 more Hacking, 2 more Social by being Data Entry. Uh, we'll say Lab Assistant. Which of these side effects, if any, best matches the conditions you developed at the time? Overfumed. Exposure to an endless cocktail of chemicals has frayed your nerves. Take on a fatigue ailment when consuming stimulants. Oh, all these flaws might be a little too much for us. Coward. Let's go with Naive. They see me and they see a stack of one dudes. Pay an extra 10% at merchants as they pull the wool of your innocent eyes. And then we get the pips. So, takes our social pips to five. One chemistry, one impact, one one-handed edge. Are you 26 years of age or older? Yep. Which of the occupations did you hold between ages of 26 and 35? Um... Recon unit, uh, we'll say I didn't like it and went back to data entry. And at this time I developed, let's see about our fingers, sweaty palms drop weapons under pressure, roll to avoid dropping your weapon after every attack, effects cumulative to roll. Two left feet. You tell people it's a mutation, but you're just clumsy. Roll every hour while moving for a chance to trip. Coward. Naive. Elitist. No, I might stick with naive. It's another 10% at merchants. But we gain um, two hacking, two social. What if we just say flawless, maybe instead? You manage to get through this period of your life without any lasting issues, but at a cost. By keeping yourself at a safe distance from hardships of your position, you missed out on gaining training bonuses you might have received. All right, we'll go with the 20%. Seven in social, five in hacking. 36 years or older, yep. Between 36 and 45. Street doctor, you never had a formal education, but you knew the basics of first aid and could stitch up a knife wound or remove a bullet with the same keen hand as a syndicate doctor. Data entry, lab assistant, vendor, trial subject, syndicate vendor. Maybe, you know, we go with uh, Street Doctor. Or did we switch to Doc Worker for something different? To impact two chain. Um, these pips would go in. Oh, natural advantage, resourceful when using a med kit. Uh, you can salvage parts of it to create a secondary kit that will appear in your bag. Now, why don't we have any advantages? Pips you gain requires disadvantages. So we gain three in one handed edge, three in repair, and one chemistry as a street doctor. Which of these side effects? Uh, flawless oath to heal. Okay, we gain the resourceful advantage. Oath to heal your sworn oath to help someone in need of medical assistance is hard to shake. Give medical supplies to any vagrants you talk to. 
Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So we receive the bonus pips. Wow, we're going to give medical supplies to any vagrants we talk to. Might be over fumed to, <laughs> to actually do that. Uh, take on a fatigue ailment when consuming stimulants. See, but if I take that as an addict, let's go back a little bit. Oh man, I forget the options here. Joel, between the ages of 20 and 25. Okay, before 20. Rather than addict, start with elitist. We gained our pip, two social, two hacking. Then we went 20 to 25. To data entry. When we started with data entry, we went to lab assistant. And here we gained over fumed. Exposure to an endless cocktail of chemicals has frayed your nerves. Take on a fatigue ailment when consuming stimulants. Um, take on a fatigue when consuming stimulants maybe we should just go with again naive 26 ages older 26 to 35 we went back to data entry Um, also do coward, sweaty hands, fumble, good A, minus one modifier to hit rolls. Twenty-six to thirty-five. Uh, elitist, naive, addict. Go with coward. <laughs> We're taking a lot. 36 or older, yes. We'll go to street doctor. Um, or vendor. Eschewing safer avenues of income. You, you're rented, you rented a stall in the bustling downtown market, buying gently used goods from the landfill looters and selling them back to their original owners. Okay, wait a minute. Between... 26 and 35 we did let's see we did data entry lab assistant let's do vendor natural advantage barterer you never walk away from a deal the loser well versed in the arts of haggling merchant goods cost 10% less effects will stack up selected more than once and we gain one handed edge one slug weapons one social so slug weapons your skills with pistols rifles and stocked weapons Success rolls for slug guns are augmented with your perception dice. Okay. So yeah, we'll go to vendor. We started with data entry, went to lab assistant, went to vendor. And as a vendor, hungry. Immediately eat any food that comes your way. You never know when another meal's coming. Bad lungs. The never-ceasing pollution sits heavily in the city and years of ventilation to permanently damage your lungs, plus one turn to your jump distance. Um, oh man, we can't pick, like, let's see, we picked elitist naive, we can't pick naive again. So let's just say we turned into an addict while being a vendor. Okay, that's how it goes. 36 years or older, yes, and, um, syndicate vendor your business acumen earned you a job with the syndicate vendors and you flush the latest tech push the latest tech and latest fashions to desk jockeys and the unemployed in the campus markets um gain barter again and we gain uh looks like one hacking two social with vendor we gain uh, 
um, we'll say we became a syndicate vendor. Our selling was good, and then we became a syndicate vendor. Trial subject. Again, I'm not really going for, like, the best build. Just kind of going for what seems like a pretty cool concoction. Syndicate vendor. Oh, we can get marshmallow. A soft life has led you to a soft, squishy body. You can only use one-handed weapons. Effects cumulative. Let's roll. How bad would that be? Let's see. Laser guns. Are they considered one-handed weapons? Two-handed edge. Pole must be two-handed. Chained. Oh, I'm not sure if, like, one-handed weapons... arms and harpoons impact what if I were to pick marshmallow doesn't show me what I can't use so let's go with coward instead coward 45 years of age or older no alright there we go so we did data entry lab assistant vendor syndicate vendor we have barter twice so 20% on goods although we lose 10% of that with naive so only 10% advantage on goods costing less I think or selling for more and we have elitist naive addict and coward oh my gosh we're gonna get rocked with this build we do have eight social well now we get to put our our dice in so let's look at the stuff over here pain threshold body's natural immunity to physical ailments and abuse quietness move through the world with a whisper or a thud every dying quietness reduces noise from jumping walking and sneaking by one two dice and quiet hit targets that have not detected you for double damage uh, let's go with perception how far you can see and how well you can discern the shapes and the shadows better eyesight improves targeting precision for all weapons every dying perception adds a plus one modifier to weapon aiming rolls is added to success rolls for slug guns plasma guns and laser guns so put a dying perception and uh virtues dice okay a cult the mind stability in the face of unknown forces Learning abilities are essential for those dabbling in chemistry, computers, and mechanics. What a point in learning. Oh, I'm starting to get really stuffy. Uh, muscle mass. Race, agility on the move, and in the air. Um... Get a point of a cult. Let's see. Two in perception? I mean, two in learning. Chemistry, computers. So, chemistry is one. Computers is hacking, four. And mechanics is, I guess, repair, which is zero. ability to decipher other languages yeah repair chemistry and hacking oh man and then we'll put another point in let's see here uh, let's put another one in perception studies let's see social we have five left uh, burglary hacking hacking 
chemistry. Slug guns and laser guns or a second in social. A second even in burglary. A second in hacking. in laser guns or plasma guns. Laser guns? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Let's see how long I've been playing for. 30 minutes, okay. Alright, um... Let's take a look at it one more time. So, coward. Uh... Minus one to hit chance with guns, I think. Minus one to aim chance or aim or something. Attic, we take pills as soon as we see them, I think. Naive, we lose 10% with merchants and elitist. We have hard to find stuff. Uh, it's hard for us to find stuff in the... Uh... Yeah, guys, I'm going to have to reset that, actually, because I don't want to pick elitist. But I'm going to thank you guys for joining me. Instead of elitist, we're just going to pick naive twice. Naive. I'll just do this quickly, but I want to thank you for joining me. Because we're going to uh, wrap this up in a bit. Going with Defender. Um, and I guess... to get vendor. It's not going to be an easy playthrough, it seems, but there we go. Let's go, son. So this looks like what we're going to go with. I'm not going to hit complete just yet because we are going to jump in next time. And that gives me a little more time to think about this off camera. But I think we're going to go with like a two in perception, one in the cult, two in learning, Slug, laser, chem, social, burglary, and hacking. I think that's a pretty cool build. Uh, there's so many cool ways you can build, though, really. But, um, yeah, thank you so much. If you made it this far, guys, I appreciate y'all. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please press the like button or leave a comment. I really appreciate it. And it lets me know that you want to see more. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I invite you to subscribe and tag along as well love to have you guys uh and that goes for all y'all you should all tag along even with me sounding this stuffy you should all tag along and um see what's what as we go on here we're gonna make this character next time and hit complete and then we will start the game immediately next time uh we'll start the video probably on this screen with this layout and then i'll hit complete and we'll jump into the game next time so Oh, we can check our, our adapted stats as well. 34 sight radius, 0 stun revival, 50 max HP, 8 life restore. I don't know what these do. Oh, can we click them? Yes. How many turns it will take to regenerate one life? I guess that's an 8. Free recovery, the number of turns you need to recover from an attack or action. Turns plus equals item difficulty plus grace. Huh. So we'll get we'll read all those next time and uh, get ready to play. What if I right click a color? No, not sure how to change those neon pants, but okay, I guess that's that. So hope to see you guys next time. Come on back. We'll cancel out of this for now. And um, until next time, guys, be well, live well, stay well, and much love, peace, and joy. We're gonna be jumping into the gameplay next time. So I hope you'll join me and gonna have a lot of fun I feel with Mega Jam. We're already having a lot of fun. 
I uh, hope you guys are too. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Ciao for now.